it's always how do you do anything or get anything done with those long nails i'm about to show you how i get everything done with these long nails hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's yamini and this was a requested video by you guys actually but in today's video we're going to be talking about how to manage long nails for beginners so i get this question asked all the time and i'm sure my other subscribers and other people who get long nails get this exact same question asked but it's always how do y'all do anything with those long nails how do you wipe how do you eat how do you do anything and i'm always like i do everything normal like how you do them it's just everything is done with long nails rather than short grabbers the long nail baddies get it you know we know how to function through everyday life with these on but if you are a new subscriber hello welcome to the journey as i like to tell everyone who discovers and finds me on youtube and for the returning subscribers hello hi i'm glad to see y'all again in another video it means a lot and it absolutely warms my heart to see that y'all are still here with me honestly i'm really excited to be doing this video today because it was a highly requested video like i honestly it's not that i don't like making videos about my nails but i try not to make that like my whole entire channel just because i don't know who actually likes likes for me to talk about nails and who doesn't you know so I don't really talk too much about them but I was really excited when y'all were like hey can we get another nail video like a more updated one and I'm like yes I would love to do that for y'all that means a lot to me because nails are one of my main investments I love to invest in getting my nails done I love it so much me personally I will get my nails done before I get my toes done not to say that I don't care about my feet or anything it's just people see my hands before they see my feet I'm not about to have them barking at people that come my way no 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 but as always I don't like to make my intros too long because we got to get down to the main part of the video which is how to manage the long nails but before we do that I'm gonna show y'all the set that I have right now here they are let me set the camera will clear up there we go so my nail tech went in as she always does shout out to my nail tech miss bossy nails by P y'all can show support and love to her she's amazing I love her I've been going to her for the past year going on almost two years now and she's amazing at what she does a huge shout out to her anyways let's get right into the video guys I'm so excited to be going over this and just doing this for y'all again in another video okay so as y'all know I always use my phone for my notes because I have to make sure that I'm going over every topic that I want to discuss in this video and make sure that I'm not forgetting anything at all let's pull up these notes shall we so first things first on our list of talking points is the types of links when it comes to long nails so we have our long our XL which is extra long you have your double XL and the triple XL these I believe are triple XL I think that's what my nail tech told me I always get the longest link but I feel like these are triple XL I have to ask her but I can't ask her right now but I'm pretty sure these are the triple XL but I normally don't go past this link because this is the number tip all she does is clip the number tip right off and I always like to keep my length if you know me you know I love my long nails I can't do short and as I said in my previous video it's nothing against the short nail baddies at all short nails are cute they look classy I love how they look it's just long nails represent personality and I don't like how people underappreciate it at times by just saying oh those look long and they look ghetto they're not long and ghetto this is an art for most people and this is how people make money and if you have something negative to say exit off this video right now because this is not the video for you but yes so you have your long your XL double XL and triple XL I will not go past the triple XL just because I've learned to manage my life around the length of the nails that I get and I just feel like if I were to go anywhere longer than this it might be a little bit of a challenge because I'm used to how these are I'm not used to how something longer than this is possibly like I honestly honor those who can get the extremely extremely long nails because I don't know how they do it but I don't judge them people are always gonna judge you regardless of what you do the types of shapes so the main three shapes that most people get are square coffin and stiletto I have stiletto nails obviously I have the cat claws as most people would say and I think all of the shapes are pretty and cute in their own way I honestly like how square looks on certain styles like for solid colors I think they look absolutely stunning and beautiful I've seen some really nice solid color sets on square nails and I love them however me personally I don't think I could just get a regular standard set with just solid colors because I like to have some blingage I like to have some design but I think they look cute 
coffin nails are normally my go-to shape. I've been getting that shape for as long as I can remember. Even in high school, I had coffin-shaped nails. But I was always afraid to do stiletto because of how sharp they were. And back in the day, before stiletto started looking like actual stiletto nails, they looked kind of weird and pudgy with a tip at the end. And I didn't really like that too much. So I didn't really start getting stiletto nails until about maybe sometime last year. And now I actually alternate between coffin nails and stiletto nails whenever I'm getting my nails done. I'll probably go and browse through Instagram and I'll see a couple of sets that are in stiletto style and I'm like I want that or I'll get like an inspo picture for my nail tech to kind of look at and then I'll be like yeah I want to try this so I'm always open to trying different things but if I had to pick my favorite shape it'd probably be coffin just because I started with that and certain designs just look so much better on those particular shaped nails how to manage long nails when you get them so guys it's gonna vary differently from each individual just because if you're not used to long nails you're not gonna gonna really know what to expect with them but that's what I'm here for I'm gonna be serving as y'all's amazing lovely guide it's not as hard as you might think it is it's just gonna feel different because as with anything if you've never done it before you don't know what to expect so it's something brand new it's something fresh and you adapt fairly quickly I adapted very quick but I've also been getting long notes since I was 17 years old so I've had years of time to just really you know play around with different lengths of long nail styles but when you get long nails for the first time it's important to know that if you're really hands on with a lot of stuff if you garden if you utilize your hands whatever it is that you do and if it requires a lot of hand usage you may not need to get them just because you might be prone to breaking them versus somebody who's not really doing a lot of hands on activity because the point is you don't want to break them at all no matter how long they are you want to keep them on for at least a month maybe longer if you can the standard time the standard duration for long nails to last is anywhere between three weeks to a month if the nail tech actually secures them on like that they're supposed to especially if you're paying a good amount of money on them you're gonna make sure that they stay on regardless and no matter what and they're not cheap long nails can cost a little bit so just know that but whenever you know you spend good quality money on a good quality item you're gonna make sure that it lasts just try not to bump them as much when you get long nails it's gonna feel different you're gonna be like oh my gosh how am I gonna do anything listen you can do anything with them when I pump gas of course I use a napkin germs are a real thing and you want to make sure that you just leave the pump in there there's like a little latch on the gas pump so anytime I squeeze a little handle upward to pump the gas I pull that latch down and I always go to quick trip to get my gas just because they have the card scanner and you can use that instead of trying to push it in and then grab it out that used to be hard I'm not even gonna lie but it's easier now because most gas stations have the touch pay method and you can just literally put your card up there and then boom you're done that makes life easier but like I said as far as the gas pump goes just lift up the latch and then latch the little one on the bottom down so the way it can just pump itself and then by that time you're already done pumping your gas now wiping this question is very odd I always get a little weirded out when people ask me this because it's kind of like why do you want to know how I wipe myself with long nails just know I don't get anything on them and there's no stains but yeah people look like oh my god how do you wipe with those long nails and I'm like you take some tissue you wrap it around your hands and voila that's how you do it you're supposed to wipe like that I know this might be a little bit of TMI, I'm sorry guys. I'm just going over this because I know there are some odd ones out there who get curious about it, but once you have the tissue on your hand, you're just gonna wipe. And I mean, you know, wipe. If you have to lift your shake up and wipe, by all means do that but I always make sure that I'm wiping properly um, of course don't stab yourself eating with long nails is not a challenge you eat like normal you get your fork and your spoon and you just hold it like this literally you hold it like like a normal person when most people ask how we do things I always think to myself I'm like I literally just do the same thing that you do but I just have long nails with it another thing that people ask is how do you work with them because I work in early collections so I'm always typing even whenever I was in college I was typing papers with my long nails and they never gave me issue I don't know some people think that you type with your fingers and I'm like no I type with the tips of my nails and they're like oh my gosh does that hurt does it feel like anything no it doesn't hurt at all like it's not attached to my real nail like it is but it isn't there's no nerve endings in a fake nail so it's not gonna hurt when I'm just going like this if anything it's satisfying because I like to hear the ASMR sound effects of my nails clicking on the keys it's just it's really satisfying like and then just hearing the clicking sounds like this just something satisfying about that I don't know what it is I thought about starting a nail TikTok and like just doing ASMR videos with that but I don't know if I should and I might just do like little videos of me with my nails and doing sound effects with them up against different objects dealing with positive and negative feedback from other people 
Guys, this is a big one because you're always, no matter what, regardless of what it is in life, not just nails alone, but whatever you do, people are always gonna have something to say. And it's even worse whenever it's something that you bought and they're just so concerned about it. Like, why are you concerned with something that's on my hands? I don't like when people are like, oh my gosh, like you spent X amount of money on these, like you spent that. I did because I like good quality things and I don't wanna just have something cheap. If I ask for a certain design, I'm gonna get that and I'm gonna pay for it because that's what I'm asking for. If people are bashing you for the amount of money that you've spent on your nails, ignore them because it's just showing that they're not willing to pay for good quality work and they're not willing to pay for what they're asking for. And then of course, you know, the people who are always like, I don't know how you get anything done with those long nails. I don't know how you do anything. I think people just get jealous of what they wish that they could do. So whenever they make the little comment of, I don't know how you do anything with those long nails or I can't do that. I know I couldn't manage those. Well, they're not meant for you to manage. They're meant for me. That's why I have them on my hands and you have what you have on yours. People are going to be people at the end of the day. You know, we don't control what they do. We don't control what they say, but all we can do is control what we do and what we say back to them and how we respond and react to the feedback. So if anything, be proud of yourself that you're causing the scene. Long nails definitely draw a lot of attention. It can either bring good attention or bad attention, but either way, just own it and walk in your truth. When you do something eye-catching, people are always gonna say something. So don't let it discourage you at all. Will my nails break easily with long nails? Not necessarily. And I say that because I've seen people with short nails break their nails just as much as a person with long nails might. And it really just varies from person to person. Again, depending on the type of person that you are, then yes, then they'll be more easy to break. But if you're a person who's careful and you make sure that you don't set yourself up to be placed in situations to possibly break your nails, you're not gonna break them. I have not broken a nail in over two years now, guys. I swear to God, I have not. If I do break them, it might be like a little minor fixture or like a, a jewel or like a little accessory piece coming off, but I do not crack or break my nails at all. But if you're worried about them breaking easily, start out with just long, don't do XL, just work your way up. As you get used to them, just try to gradually work your way up to getting a longer length so that way you can say, okay, you know what, this is a reasonable length for me. I've noticed that when I try to do this length, they seem like they're more prone to break easily, but when I keep it at this length, they don't break as easily. Just keep it at a length that you're more comfortable with, and if you do wanna step out of your comfort zone and try something else, just do it and go for it, because you won't know unless you go and get your nails done that long. I'm always the advocate for long nails, because if you wanna get them, by all means, get them, okay? If anything, I'll be proud to see y'all's nails. I always get excited to see somebody go a longer length, especially if it's somebody that I know and I know that they used to be scared to get a long set. It makes me feel good because I'm like, wow, like you're trying it out and now you can see for yourself. Long nails give you razzle dazzle. How long does it take to get long nails done? Honestly, guys, it really just depends on the type of nail tech that you have. My nail tech, she takes her time. So for me, it can take anywhere between four to seven hours. These nails took seven hours and it's not that she's trying to take a long time on purpose. She takes pride in her work. There are nail techs at salons and I'm not bashing salon work at all. It's just, if you want something to last, you wouldn't mind sitting for X amount of hours just to make sure that they're gonna be done properly and they're not gonna be done half-assed. So time is always gonna defer from each nail tech. Like it really just depends on who you go to and who it is. Recommendations for beginners that want long nails. Honestly, just do it. If you really have been wanting to try out a long set of nails, if you keep seeing them on Instagram, that is your sign to try them out and get them. The longer you keep looking at it, it's just gonna pass you by and you're gonna forever wonder what does it feel like to actually have long nails. Just try it out and see. And if you don't like it, then just go back to what you're used to. Long nails to me are unique and it makes you unique. So if you're a very expressive individual such as myself, they add to your personality. I hope I went over a lot of good things in this video though, because I could talk all day long about long nails, but I also feel like there's only so much that you can discuss and talk about because I feel like with long nails, it's more of a, you have to go and do it and see for yourself kind of thing. I can talk about it all day long and say how easy it is for me to function through everyday life and do all these things, but until you, the individual, experiences it on your own, you won't be able to say like, hmm, well, I know what it's like to have long nails. But as always, thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. If you guys have any questions in regards to long nails, feel free to follow me on Instagram and feel free to message me on Instagram at Yamini J. You guys know that I'm always open to talk and speak with y'all. I love talking to you guys and I love when y'all ask me questions. But if y'all don't have any questions, thank y'all so much for tuning in. And I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.